We know that not everyone can open an account, but today, we will walk you through the steps in opening your Navy Federal Credit Union's business checking account. Today I hope, will be the day that we will earn your subscription if we haven't done so already. All you have to do is click on the subscribe button at the bottom right of this video. Before we get into the video which brought you to us today, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video. We do weekly financing and growth content at the channel, and if that sort of thing is for you, hit the sub button and leave a comment below. That will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. The more views, likes, and comments each video receives will help with that pesky YouTube algorithm, thus pushing our content out to a larger audience and speeding up the giveaways. See, it's science. So again, if you want to be entered to win, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment on this video, and if you want, stick around at the end of the video, and we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. First things first, you need to become a Navy Federal Credit Union member, and to be honest, it isn't that difficult. Even though they mainly service military members and veterans, all you need is an affiliation to get access. If you have a family member close or distant that is or has served in the military, you can become a member. You are eligible if you live with someone who's currently a member. Also, if you are part of or work for the DoD, Department of Defense, you are also eligible for membership. Once you have joined and set up your personal checking account, you can start the process for the business checking account. This is where you want to have your ducks in a row with your business structure. You will want to ensure that your business is 100% lendable by having a business address, business phone number, professional email, and website. If you are unsure about setting this information up, please refer back to our Starting a Business 101 video on our channel and give it a big thumbs up. Next up to bat is your documentation. This will vary depending on your business entity, so we will review what documents are needed for each entity. Sole proprietorship accounts will require the least amount of information. You will need your federal tax ID number letter. Yes, you can use your social security number, however, we strongly recommend applying for one. This way, you can use it when you decide to become an LLC. You will also need a valid business license, permit, or DBA certificate. Next, we have general partnerships. You will need your EIN letter, business license, permit, or fictitious name slash DBA certificate. You will also need your beneficial owner form and basic details, including a social security number or passport number for any business owner with 25% or more ownership, as well as controlling officers. Lastly, we have corporations, limited partnerships, or LLCs. As with the prior business models, you will need your federal tax ID letter, a valid business license, permit, or a fictitious name slash DBA certificate. You will also need your beneficial owner form and essential details, including a social security number or passport number for any business owner with 25% or more ownership, as well as controlling officers. Don't forget your good standing certificate dated within 60 days of the application date. If you are enjoying this video and want to show some support for the channel, please click the thumbs up like button below. It would be greatly appreciated. You will want to keep in mind that there are certain types of businesses Navy Federal will not allow into their ecosystems, such as finance-related, credit repair, cannabis, and gambling, to name a few. We will scroll through their different checking options because it's always good to know of options outside the standard big banks. As you can see, all accounts will earn dividends income standard with a Navy Federal GoBiz debit card, five free starter checks, and access to digital banking. You will also have access to dividends. The first account is probably the one most will be interested in, but as your business grows, you can also make a product change to your checking account. This account will offer you 30 non-electronic transactions. Non-electronic transactions are defined as checks processed and in-branch transfers, deposits, and withdrawals. Up to 12 checks for deposit at a branch will count as one transaction. You will be charged an additional 25 cents per transaction thereafter. The best feature, in our opinion, is that this account is free, by that, we mean there is no monthly service fee. You will still have NSF fees should money not be in your account to cover the items you purchased. 
you can have two signers on this account, so depending on how you have things structured, it's up to you who the second signer is. The following account, Business Plus Checking, allows for the first 50 non-electronic transactions and does come with an $8 monthly service fee. You will have an unlimited number of signers. Just like the basic checking, you will earn 0.01% on your dividends. Please remember that you must maintain a minimum daily balance of $1,500 to earn dividends. It may be hard to achieve when you are just starting, but it's well worth it if you can. Especially for just the peace of mind if something comes through that you forgot about. We all should want to get their final checking account, as the business premium checking account is designed for more mature businesses doing large transaction volumes. Your first 100 non-electronic transactions will be included. Your monthly service will depend on your daily balance. You owe nothing if you maintain a $5,000 or more daily balance. Otherwise, a $20 monthly service fee will apply. I think it's worth scrolling back up to the top of the page and clicking on the business checking schedule of fees and charges link. Here you will find all the fees associated with each account and its features and benefits. I bet you thought we were done, but alas, we forgot one very important piece of information vital to starting your account. You will need a deposit of $250 for sole proprietorships and $255 for all separate legal entities, such as limited liability companies and corporations, is required at the time of opening. You can use a credit card to fund this account and why not use one that will provide you with some kind of reward like an American Express Business Platinum card? Be sure to check out our private Facebook group, where our community shares a wealth of knowledge daily. We have provided a link below in the description where you have to answer some questions, and you will be able to be part of that ever-growing community. Let's quickly jump into the giveaway stuff before we let you go. We're still giving away PlayStation 5s all the way up to 100,000. The next milestone is 25,000 subscribers. If you want to be entered to win, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below because it's random. The more videos you comment on, the better your chance of winning. All winners are announced here during this segment in the same part of the video at the end. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, we sure would appreciate it if you could hit the like button, as always, thank you, and make it a wonderful day.